Now that bench testing is completed, the Acorn Step and Direction Motion Controller, I'm going to show you how to hook up a Gecko Drive G540 stepper driver. And we'll go over setting up the wizard to configure the software for the G540. And a couple of things that we'll be using is we'll be using the schematic that's provided by Centroid for the G540. And in this configuration, the G540 is just being used as a stepper driver. I.O. is not going through it. Um, and then you'll need the G540 stepper driver manual to get your stepper motors wired up. I've already pre-wired my stepper motors and got the DB9 connectors on it. And the current set resistor is already in it, so that's out of the way. So let me bring you up to the bench and let's get started. Okay, let's go over what we're going to need. We need a DB25 cable. That connects the Acorn's DB25 connector to the G540's connector. It should be noted that the Acorn is pin compatible with the G540, making this part of the connection very easy. And then here's our stepper motors. We've got X, Y, Z, and we're going to go ahead and run an A axis just for the purposes of the demonstration. We've got a 48 volt power supply. It is pre-wired. I've already got my AC hooked up to the line neutral and the ground terminals. Line is black, neutral is white, and ground chassis ground is green. And then I've got my 48 volt leads that are going to go to the Gecko G540. Black is connected to V minus and red is connected to plus V. And we've got a, an e-stop. It has two sets of contacts, normally closed contacts. One is going to go to the G540 and one is going to go to the Acorn Step and Direction Motion Controller. When this is pressed, the circuit opens and it lets Acorn know that it's in an e-stop state and it also disables the Gecko Drive G540. So let's get started. All right, the first thing to note on the on the G540 is the pins from right to left go 1 through 12. And 12 is ground, 11 is power, and 10 is the e-stop circuit. So let's go ahead and get those connected first. Okay, we need to get both of these wires under our pin 12. Then we need our power. That goes to pin 11. That's per the G540 manual. And then our e-stop wire. There's quite a simple wiring diagram here in the G540 manual. You'll see here's the motor power supply and they show the V minus DC going up to pin 12 and they show the V plus DC going to pin 11 and then the E stop common is going up to pin 10 and then the normally close is going to negative VDC which is where we basically tied it. They show it going here to the power supply. I ran it up here to pin 12. Okay, let's go over the Acorn schematic. Here down here, this is the Gecko Drive G540 and pin 12 is going to our power supply, our 48 volt power supply, negative. Pin 11 is going to our positive side of our 48 volt power supply. And then you'll notice this wire here is our e-stop circuit coming from pin 12, which is our common. It goes up and it goes to one side of the contact block on our e-stop switch. And then the other side of the contact block, that wire comes down and goes to pin 10. Now on the other side of our e-stop switch, this wire comes down and you can see it goes to 24 volts common, so it's going into our spare common terminal, up into the e-stop switch, and then the other side is going up, over, and down to input 8 on our Acorn board. We also have to get a wire from H4 24 volt DC input. Here's our plus 24 volts DC input and it's coming from our spare plus 24 volt DC terminal at the Acorn input power supply terminal block. All right, let's take care of the jumper first. Okay, so we're gonna put, this is says 24 volts right here, right next to this yellow, this yellow wire. So we're gonna put 
another yellow wire on this, under this terminal. Okay, there you see I've, I've landed that wire underneath this terminal, which is 24 volts DC. Now we're going to run the other end of that wire up here to 24 volts in underneath this terminal. Okay, so that's, that's that part. Now we're going to wire the e-stop. We're going to run one wire per the drawing from the other set of contacts down over to 24 volts common and the other side is going to go up over and down to input 8. So let's take care of the common first. Here's our e-stop switch and here's the, the, the set of contacts that we're using 1 and 2 on this side. This side is wi wired up to the G540. It's common and it's in e-stop input. This one's going to go to our ACORN motion controller. So let's get the common wired up first. All right, you'll see here there's a spare common terminal and this is where we're going to put that, that black wire under. Okay, this is the wire we just landed. It's right there, it's common. Now the other terminal that we're looking for is input 8. That's this terminal right here. Let's get that one wired up. Okay, you can see we're on input 8. Okay, the next step is we're going to go ahead and wire our stepper motor connectors to the G540. It's important you, just, you don't just push these down, these connectors down onto the G540 that you go ahead and tighten them up because the pins won't fully engage the connectors without being tightened down. Okay, one last thing you want to do is make sure this charge pump switch is in the on position. It comes shipped in the off position, but put it in the on position because the, the ACORN outputs the charge pump signal to let the G540 know that the software is online. So it's important to push that up. And then double check everything. Wouldn't hurt. Remember, pin 12 is negative, so this is 48 volt DC negative. This is our, our, our negative to our e-stop switch. This is 48 volts DC positive to pin 11. That supplies power to the G540 and then to our stepper motors. And then pin 10 is the e-stop input. That goes to the other contact on the e-stop. And then here's our e-stop switch as we just discussed. Th there's two con sets of contacts here. These are called contact blocks. This one's going to our G540 and this is going to our ACORN. Okay, we have a 24 volt jumper from the second to the bottom terminal in this case. It is screened on the board, 24 volts, coming up and over to 24 volts input on this terminal block. And then our other e-stop contact block. One is going to common. We're using the spare terminal down here. And then the other lead is going to input 8. This applies to the Gecko G540. All right. Now we've got to plug in our DB25 cable from the G540. Cinch it down. To the Acorn step and direction motion controllers. 
DB25 port. Good, now we've got all the connections made. Let's go ahead and set up the software using the wizard. Okay, we need to run the wizard so we can tell the software what we're running. So in this case, we're gonna run the G540 in drive only mode, so we check that. And down here, because we have no limit switches, we need to set these to unused. Okay, now we'll go to Axis Configuration. We'll leave this all alone. Um, you can see this is where the labels for each axis are set, X, Y, Z, and you notice there's an N here. Well, I plugged in uh, a stepper motor in the fourth axis, so we need to enable it. So we'll just say it's going to be our A axis. We won't touch anything else here. Let's write the settings to the control. Say yes. Settings are saved. OK. We close it. Now let's see if we can turn some motors. OK, we've got everything powered up. Acorn is up. The PC's powered up. Our G540 has power. You see the red LED on the G540? That's going to stay red until the software loads, and then you'll see it go green. Let's go ahead and start the software. Okay, you notice the G540 is green now, and our motors are locked, they're holding. Um, what we can do here, it says, machine home not set. Jog all axes to their home positions, press cycle start to set machine home. Well, we don't have these on a machine, but let's go ahead and zero out our DROs by pressing cycle start to set home. And now you notice all our DROs are zero. So let's jog some axes. You notice that it's, I'm holding it and you just hear a click. That's because we're in the incremental mode. When you see this LED lit, it's in incremental. When it's out, it's in continuous. With regards to speed, when the tortoise's LED is lit, it's in the slow mode. When we take it off, it's in the rapid mode. So we want this in continuous because we're just going to rotate the stepper motors. And let's leave the tortoise on in slow mode. Now let's go ahead and press the... And there you can see the x-axis turning. The opposite direction. Here's our y-axis. Opposite direction. Our z. And let's try our fourth axis. Well, let's go ahead and try the fast mode, and hopefully our motors don't jump off the bench here. There's X. And you can watch the DROs over here turning. And here's Y. Z. and our fourth axis. And there you go. We've successfully bench tested a stepper motion control system using the Gecko G540.